Here are 10 tips you may or may not know to help you speed up your workflow inside of Premiere Pro. The first and probably most important is keyboard shortcuts. You can set your own customized keyboard shortcuts by coming up to the menu at the top here by clicking on Premiere Pro and coming down to keyboard shortcuts. Here you can choose your command and set it to most keys on your keyboard. So one of my personal favorites is I've set add edit to the B key on my keyboard and what this does is it adds a cut in my clip then I'll move along and I'll hit B again to add another cut and now automatically this clip in the middle is selected and now I can hit ripple delete which I've set to X on my keyboard and it deletes that section so for me I can quickly go through footage hitting B and hitting B again taking out parts that I don't like without having to move my hand off my keyboard so go crazy and just add as many keyboard shortcuts as you need to speed up your flow if you want to apply the same effect to multiple clips then you need to use adjustment layers add an adjustment layer by clicking the new item button over here and clicking adjustment layer hit ok and now drag your adjustment layer from your project panel into your timeline drag it to your desired length and now what you need to do is add your effect onto the adjustment layer as an example I'm going to add a lumetric color onto this adjustment layer and I'm going to take all the color out of everything turn everything black and white and now if I scrub through my clip the first clip as well as the second clip both have the same effect put onto them you can also use adjustment layers to color grade your footage to span across your whole timeline to make sure that every single clip shares the same color grade if you need to adjust a clip without messing up the timeline use the ripple edit tool the ripple edit tool can be selected over here and now if I want to extend this bottom layer I click and drag and it'll automatically move everything along with it Pretty cool. If you want to directly replace a clip without messing anything up in your timeline, so I'm gonna replace the clip that I have selected here with this clip on the left. All you need to do is hold Alt or Option on your keyboard while clicking and dragging the clip that you wanna replace in its place, let go, and it's changed. Keep your timeline organized by nesting clips. You can do this by highlighting the clips that you want to nest together, right clicking and coming down and selecting nest. You can name your nested sequence if you like, but this will put all of those sequences into one nested sequence. I can do the same with these pink ones and I've set my nest as a keyboard shortcut. So I just hit N on my keyboard and I'm able to nest my sequences to make things much quicker. And just like that, I've organized things and neaten it up. And if you need to access some of those clips, you just double click on your nested sequence and you can access those clips. If you want to paste certain attributes from one clip to another, it's really simple. Let's say on this clip, I'm gonna scale in by 200 and push the position all the way down. And I wanna do the same thing on the next clip. In order to do that, I just right click on this clip and say copy. And on the clip that I wanna paste the attributes to, I just right click and say paste attributes, hit okay. All of those properties have been copied over. So maybe you have a sequence that you really enjoy, but you wanna make a different version without messing up the original sequence that you've created. The best thing to do is to duplicate your sequence. I have this beautiful sequence in front of me and I want to create a separate version. So I'll go to my sequence in my project panel over here, right click on it and click duplicate. I can right click and rename it if I want. And if I need to access it, I just double click on that sequence and it creates a new one. Now if I take all of these clips out and I go back to my original clip, it's still intact. Another way to stay organized is by using something called markers. In order to create a marker, you just hit M on your keyboard and a little green marker will be created. It's a little reference point that you can use to come back at a later stage or maybe a point in your video that you need to highlight specifically. You can also create a detailed marker by holding M, which brings up this panel where you can add some comments and change your marker color. One of the best ways that I use markers is in order to highlight the beats of a song. Most of the time I want my clips to transition when the beat changes. So what I'll do is I'll play through a song I'll hit spacebar, let the music play and I'll listen to it and I'll hit M every time the song hits a beat. And now I basically have my song laid out in a very simple way for me to know when to change from one clip to the next. If you need to export a still image from your video, it's pretty simple to do. You just go to the point where you want to export that frame and you click on the camera icon. If you don't see that at the bottom of this panel, you just click on this plus button editor over here. Look for the camera, click and drag it into the bar at the bottom hit OK and now you click on the camera and that'll export your frame. You can save it as different file types and choose where you want to save it. Another cool trick that I use quite a lot, especially if I'm working with footage that is quite long and I need to work through it at a faster speed is I use J, K and L on my keyboards. If you hit J on your keyboard, it'll track your timeline backwards. If you hit K, it'll stop. And if you hit L on your keyboard, that'll track forwards. But if you hit L again and again, you can speed the video up two times and four times the speed.